All right, guys, today we're talking about one of our favorite materials here at Vision Miner, carbon fiber nylon. Okay, so first off, what is nylon? Think zip ties, polyamide, PA. It's almost everywhere you look. Nylons worn by women <clears throat> or bandits, uh, Velcro, zip ties, ropes, nuts, bolts, washers, circuit board hardware, uh, and a ton of other places you never even knew it was. It's been around for years. Now, 3D printing uses the same awesome material, but often with chopped carbon fibers embedded into the polymer. This adds to the rigidity of the material and the strength to weight ratio, and they create a lot more stiffness, and they also make the part slightly lighter. It increases dimensional accuracy while you're printing, meaning it's gonna come off the plate exactly where you wanted it because the fibers are holding the polymer in place, uh, so there's less curling and warping at the edges and stress points of the part. And this also makes it much easier to print, especially if you don't have a heated chamber. There are also continuous fiber machines, often printing continuous carbon fiber toe throughout an entire part, uh, but these are different systems and they're much more expensive and much more limited on material options. And uh, I'm talking about the systems currently offered by Desktop Metal and Markforge. They do come at a heavy premium with their own benefits, but today we'll be talking about the polymers on open material systems like the FunMat HT or the Aon M2 or the SAM HT or whatever you may have. So carbon fiber nylon is well suited for structural parts, functional prototypes, or even custom production parts, low volume runs for the most part. Arguably the biggest area we see it used is jigs, fixtures, and tooling. Machine shops that are constantly making tooling out of you know, solid aluminum and fixtures for CNC machines, laser cutting, and other manufacturing processes. When they can 3D print CF nylon instead, it often results in parts made weeks faster and at a much lower cost than pure aluminum stock. So often we see the continuous fiber from Markforge, or their onyx material, which is a carbon fiber nylon blend, just like ours. Uh, except we actually have data showing that the 3DX Tech brand is significantly stronger than the Markforge. Not only that, but it's much cheaper. Much, much cheaper. The only real difference is you'll have to print it yourself and you don't have their awesome software to make it perfect every time. But it will look just as good. So let's go over some general pros and cons. Uh, let's talk about the bad first. You will want a hardened steel or better nozzles because it's super abrasive. It's basically like sandpaper on the inside of the nozzle. Uh, the filament can get brittle over time, especially if you're drying it too much. And you can sometimes see a lot more oozing than with other materials because it's super hygroscopic, meaning it, it absorbs a lot of moisture very quickly just from the air. On that point, it is very hygroscopic, so it needs to be kept dry, especially before processing or melting it. Now, some of the pros are it's pretty easy to print, especially considering the amount of strength you get. It's super lightweight, has a really good strength to weight ratio and stiffness, and it's got excellent dimensional stability, meaning your parts will be accurate straight out of the printer. And that's a huge point, because there's a lot of, uh, a lot of other materials have coefficients of thermal expansion that warp your part out of place, like ABS is going to shrink or expand 2%, and you have to calculate for that. Generally, CF nylon is pretty good, and with the carbon fiber in there, it stays pretty accurate. So let's talk more about this. It's easy to print, but what does that really mean? Most common printers are able to print it. Most, like Prusa's, uh, higher end Flash Forge, Ultimakers, even Ender 3's for 200 bucks can run this material. You basically just need a printer that can do 120 Celsius in the bed and 260 or more on the nozzle. A heated chamber will help a lot, with, especially with bigger parts, but it's not required. Next, it is super strong. Some blends at 25% carbon fill are literally comparable to aluminum. They're actually calling it black aluminum. So check out this part. It's actually a brake handle for a bike, right? Uh, now we've got the 10 to 13% carbon fiber and let me give it a bend. I can bend it, but barely, just a little bit. Now I'm gonna go over to our 25% carbon infill, uh, high temperature nylon part. And 
I can't bend it at all. I mean, I can bend that. You can see that. This thing is just, just crazy. You should see people's reactions when I give it to them. Blends from Markforge have strength to weight ratios higher than 6061 T6 aluminum in some cases. And it's about 24 times stronger and 27 times stiffer than ABS. The Ascentium HTN stuff I just showed you has super high strength, very solvent resistance, and it's also really easy to print. It's literally designed as an aluminum replacement, and it prints excellent on all the machines we offer on our store. So, next reason. Frankly, it just looks cool. It's got this awesome matte black finish, and it kind of almost looks like a metallic sheen from the reflections of the carbon, and it really, really hides the layer lines, meaning you can print faster with bigger layers, and you will still have a great looking part. This means more production, more parts in less time. Lastly, this stuff works great with no support material, just using nylon as its own support, or using soluble supports like PVA, Aquasys 120, or other materials that have been coming out on the market recently. Those are the biggest reasons we love carbon fiber nylon. Do you love carbon fiber nylon? Do you use this stuff? Let us know how you use it in the comments below. What's your favorite part about this stuff? Or if you've got any questions, you haven't used it yet, and you wonder what you're gonna come up against, leave a comment down below, and we'll try to answer it in a future video or right there in the comments. We try to be really good about that. Thanks for watching. Have a positive day. I'll see you on the next video.